Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel MJ Manjadi. In one of my previous video, I had informed you how to enroll for Diksha course. And today's video, we are going to see the solution of safety in cyberspace course so that you can easily score more than 70%, which is 21 out of 30, and you will get the certificate of completion. So now let's start. So as I have told you in my previous video, you need to have this two app for Diksha course and this is the important one Diksha course app. So now let's click on this app. So once you click on this app, it will take you to this home page. And in this home page, as you can see, my courses are there where it's mentioning the course you have enrolled. So I have enrolled for safety in cyberspace. So it's showing here safety for cyberspace. Now click on continue because I have not completed the assessment. Now here, as you can see, module one, it's completed. Then you can see module two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, on the right hand side all tick mark is there so when you are also doing you also make sure that this all are ticked means you have watched all these modules so now only left part module is assessment remember assessment you can give it maximum for three time if you don't score 70 percent or more in first attempt you have two more attempt but not more than that so now let us click on assessment once you click on assessment it will start the quiz. So as you can see here they have mentioned attempt quiz, attempt allowed 3, grade to pass is 21 out of 30 which is the 70 percent. So let's click on attempt quiz now. First question which practice enhance user label security? Option C. Question 2. Which of the following is not a recommended ergonomic practice for digital device use? Resting wrist on hard surface while typing. Third question. Excess amount of time spent in cyberspace can interfere with which of the following? Option D. Question 4. Why should we care about digital equity? Correct option is C. Question 5. Which behavior best support mental well-being in digital space? Correct option is B. Six. How can one avoid excessive strain while using handheld device? Correct option is A. Question 7. Why is it important to protect your personal data online? Correct option is A. Eighth question. In which of the following domain the student can experience problem in case they have problematic pattern of internet use? Correct option is D. It can be A also. Question 9. Which national nodal agency respond to computer security incident as and when they occur? Correct option is D. Question 10. Which section of IT Act 2000 penalize downloading data that lead to malware or ransom attack? Correct option is C. Question 11. Which of the following is not a function of cert in? Correct option is D. Question 12. Which of the following is not critical infrastructure? 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी क्वेश्चन थर्टीन हाउ ऑफन शुड यूजर चेक द पोस्टर वेन यूजिंग डिजिटल डिवाइस करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन विच प्रैक्टिस हेल्प मेंटेन प्रॉपर स्ली हाइजीन करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए टाइप ऑफ फिशिंग अटैक करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट कंसिडर अ की फीचर ऑफ गेमिंग डिसऑर्डर एज डिस्क्राइब बाय द डब्ल्यू एच ओ करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी क्वेश्चन सेवनटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बेस्ट एक्सप्लेन द इंटरक्शन ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्टर and cyber space correct option is d question 18 which of the following is an ethical concern in online communication correct option is b question 19 what is the correct expanded form of dpdp act so correct option is c question 20 what is the purpose of vpn correct option is a question 21 which of the following is an example of respectful online behavior correct option is d question 22 what is the 202020 rule for reducing digital eye strain correct option is b question 23 what is ransomware designed to do correct option is d question 24 which of the following legal provision of india provide penalty for cyber crime correct option a question 25 what should you do before sharing news on social media correct option a question 26 repeated hostile or aggressive behavior performed by an individual or a group on others aim to inflict harm or discomfort by mean of electronic or digital tool is known as correct option is b question 27 who is the best person to contact if a child has already developed an addiction to gaming correct option is c question 28 which of the following is the correct cyber crime helpline number correct option a question 29 which of the following posture issue is commonly caused by excessive screen use correct option c question 30 filling the blanks website or online service collecting personal data of a child below the age of dash year must obtain parental consent before doing so correct option is a now let us see now you after committing all this quiz you need to click on finish attempt and your quiz will be submitted and you will get your score if your score is more than 21 out of 30 you will be getting the certificate of completion of this course and now if you have not scored more than 21 then you can go for another two more attempt now let's finish it so here summary they have given now at the end click on submit all and finish 
so again they are asking submit all your finished submit you won't be able to change so let us submit so yes i have submitted and i got 28 out of 30 means i have passed because it's more than 21 after completing the assessment you can come back and then again if you see the assessment here so they have given tick mark here means i have already completed the assessment now if you go scroll down module 8 which is completion certificate so now as you can see in completion certificate also i have received one tick mark here means now i will get the certificate as well now to get certificate you just need to click on certificate here so now let us click on certificate and download the certificate so i will click here it will open on website so as you can see this is my certificate where it's mentioned that ncert certificate of completion they certify that jitendra yadav has successfully completed the course which course safety in cyberspace of 15 hour actually i think it should be mistake it should be five hour offered by cit and crt on 20 may so what you can do you can download this certificate for your future reference that's all for today's video if this video is helpful for you don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and share it with your friends we'll meet in another video with some more interesting information for you till then goodbye keep learning Thank you.